Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool. And yes, you can save custom bevel profiles. So in the video a week ago, we had a look at how we can make custom bevel profiles a great way of adding in some detail to columns and the edges of objects and how to make the most of doing that in one go so you don't have to make lots and lots of little insets and individual bevels that can be annoying. But there is one big problem with that, and that is that Blender natively doesn't have an obvious way of how to save this. However, after a few great comments, there are actually a couple of ways that you can go about this, so let's talk through them and the positives and negatives of each. So I want to go through the one first that requires you using an add-on, and that add-on is Hardops. Now if you watch the channel, you know I love Hardops and Box Cutter, they're amazing. If you're going to get one, buy them together because you get a bit of a discount. And there's a link in the description to a playlist on some things for Box Cutter, so you can check those out, including a pretty detailed guide on how you can use it. Now Hardops has so many useful functions that actually I didn't know that this one existed, and thanks to the comment for Lonnie G that put me onto this, without that I really wouldn't have had a clue. Now to use this all you need to do is bring in let's say a cube or whatever object you want to do it on just to start off with. We're going to go into edge mode, I'm going to select an edge, I'm going to press Q to bring up the Hardops menu, and control click on mark, and that brings in our bevel and this time it's as a bevel modifier. But we have exactly the same options we do when doing a normal bevel. We can go to profile, click custom, and we get the custom option here. Now, the big negative of this technique is that it only works with certain, or at least I can only get it to work with certain types. And that is to be using the vector handle, which is basically this straight one. Now, that does give you a lot of scope to do some really funky things with this. So let's change that one there, let's change that to vector as well, and then we'll just bring these along and then make this shape. So something like that, and remember we need to put our segments up so we can see all of this. So there we go. And I'm just gonna make sure these are level, so I want it at 0, 0.5, so let's copy that, and then bring that in here and paste that. Okay, so we've got this funky bevel, a bit limited on what we can do because of this need to be a vector, but it still gives us some options of what we can do. And I'll show you why this can still look really cool in a second. So, to do this, you'll notice we don't actually have an option here to save this. What you have to do is press Control and tilde. Now, not to sound patronising, because when someone said tilde to me, I was like, what the hell is that? It's the symbol that's typically in the top left-hand corner of your keyboard. If you look in the bottom right-hand corner here, you can see what that symbol looks like, and it brings up this hops helper menu, which will typically be here. You can go to your modifiers, and it basically is a larger version of your modifier panel here, except for it has this option to save profile. Now, before you do that, you want to set up where this is saving to. So if you come to edit, preferences, type in hard ops to bring that up, click there, and this is a little bit hidden. You have to go to properties, hard ops properties, all the way to the bottom, and you've got your profile folder that you can set up here. Now, as a default, it's automatically set to go to your roaming folder. I like to set up my own folder so that it's much easier to find. So that's the way I've done that. So back to control tilde, let's save that. And I'm just gonna call this, I don't know, test one. Save that bevel profile, and then we can bring in an object. So let's shift an A, and I'm going to bring in a cylinder this time. And we've got that to a nice amount of vertices. And I'm gonna to go to edge, alt click there, Q, Control click on mark to add in the bevel, and then I can control tilde, I've got my bevel, select custom on the profile, and then here load profile, and I can click that test, load the profile, and it makes this quite nice, interesting shape. As we've taken this bevel and put it on a round object. So this is probably where I'd use that because of this limit to the types of handle you can use. So that's the one using hard ops. Easy to access, pretty handy. But there is also one which doesn't need any add-on at all, and you've got no limitations on how you use this. It's just a little bit hidden. And in fact, it's so hidden, I didn't actually know you could do this. And it was an anonymous user. Thank you so much if this was you. Sorry, I can't give you named credit. But they said that you can actually copy and paste your custom bevels from one location to another. Now, as soon as that was true, that meant that there's a really good option here. And actually, Robert commented on exactly the same thing, which is that you can use the Asset Browser. So what I'm going to do here is go into my Asset Browser file. So this is where I keep all of my assets. If you don't know how to use your Asset Browser, which is a free part of Blender, there's a link in the description of how to do that. And I've got my bevel here that I've set up. And this is the copy of my bevel that I found in the Louvre. So what I'm going to do is just press F2 and name this as Louvre Bevel, just so it's easy to find. 
And importantly, just so that this looks nice, I've got this oriented so that effectively you can see the positive X direction is the side with the bevel on it. That's quite useful because it's going to give you a good picture when you mark this as an asset. So what I'm going to do is right click, mark as asset, and then I need to file and save that file. Now if I come back to my original file, I can just shift and A, bring in let's say another cylinder, let's move that to the side, and I can just drag up and bring in my asset browser, change that to all my blender assets, bring in that Louvre bevel, and here's what I said about you can see this quite nicely because we've got it facing in the X direction. And then what I can do now is come to this, come down to my bevel, put my mouse over the custom profile that I've made and press Control and C. It doesn't say that it's done anything frustratingly, so you just have to trust in Blender. Then go into Edge Mode, and then I can select these edges there, and then Control and B to do my bevel, or you can do it as a modifier as well. Come to Custom, come down to here, Control and V while you've got your mouse over it, and then we need to up our segment so we can see this, and we've now got our bevel put onto this one. So effectively it just allows you to drag in your custom bevel and then add it really quickly to another object. So a really nice quick way of saving things so you can just make a little stockpile of all of your favourite bevels that you've made. As always I hope you found that useful. If you did please do hit the like button, it helps share the video around. Subscribe for more great content and if you want to help support the channel further there is a Patreon page, the link's in the description and for a few dollars a month you help keep the channel up on YouTube for free which to me is really important. You get the videos a week ahead of time, ad-free, and there's some other cool things in the Patreon as well, such as an exclusive Discord channel. Have a great day, guys.